skin Dyke Michaels right now, don't I? That is really funny. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm realizing there's no good angle for me to be at. I can't. That's a good you. angle for you. You look like a real news anchor. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the kind of anchor you want to hang off a boat and drop to drag the boat to a slow stop. Guys, if you don't want me on the show, I'm going to. Gonna... Before we even start, let's just not do it. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you boats ever forget and hose. it. Boats and hoes. I got to give me some boats and hoes. I got to give me some ho boats. Ho, ho, ho your boat. I need a ho, ho boat. Go boat let's go ahead and mute cake. Mike too. I tell you what, let's go ahead and mute Mike one as yeah. while we're at it. Hello, hello. Can anyone not hear me? Oh, fuck, I'm Mike one. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, fine. That we're, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of four as well. This is this is my show now. I hope you all enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we just had a couple ideas for the podcast. I think. Okay, yeah. Like what? Like uh, maybe it's be funny this time. Like like funny. Yeah. Like, like it's not it's not funny now. No. I have a really good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're not in it. What? Fucker. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't Kyle, just... let him do this? Look, he asked me to do it. For? I just really want to be on the... I'm so sorry. Get it in his mouth! Oh, my God! He was me! I'm so sorry. Thanks for having us. You and funny bitch. Joke's over. I'm ready to start. Guys. Guys! Okay, whatever. Are we live? Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, where's Johnny? Uh, well, I guess, uh, well, uh, you know, he's, he's, I think he's running late at the, at the time right now, so he'll, uh, he should be here. I think he's a little tied up, right? Young, little, yeah. Young Jamie's running the show today. What's up? Yeah. What's up, fat Jamie? So, uh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> we did the other podcast and Nick kept calling Zach fat Jamie. <laughs> And that's why he's not here anymore. Oh, so that's, that's yeah. why Zach left. He, Maybe uh, yeah, I don't right. bring that up. Sorry, I'm, I'm bad. So uh, it, it's a lot less sex appeal on the podcast this time around. I'd like, say more. Some would say more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's definitely like more. I like, mean, per it's weighted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, per, by pound, mm-hmm. heavy sex appeal. Okay. Yeah, it's the heaviest sex appeal show in the world. Um, there, was, there were a lot of people who said like, "Hey, we enjoy the podcast, but like, it's so hard to like, you know, focus on the jokes because it's so." It's so hot. Too busy says, coming. Uh, yeah, we're too busy <laughs> jaying off. You can say jerking off. Now, yeah, you can say whatever the fuck you want. For me, say a slur, Kyle. Uh, again, I said a lot before we started. <laughs> He's like Spanish rice. <laughs> does that pick up? Does that, it, young Jamie? Does that? It records that. Sweet. I get. I get the sound pad. Great. Why do you get to play with the toy? That's, I don't know. That is not it's, good. Yeah, it's a bad idea, but it's going to be the most viewed podcast. Welcome to ever. the morning woods when an autistic man takes over. I like to press buttons. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't think they all sound like it's a color Metzger, puzzle. But okay. is that what Metzger sounds like? No, but... <laughs> How was that? How was what? Open him for Metzger. Uh, I was alright. He was very. He didn't talk very much or make eye contact. So, <laughs> so yeah, all right. So you're right. He shook my hand and he goes and he just stops and stares at me and he goes, um, uh, what do you do? I was like, what? He goes, uh, I, I mean, he goes because like, it's definitely not comedy. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, what did you used to do for a job like before you were a comic? I was like, I used to climb telephone poles. He goes, ah. Oh. Did he recognize you? Or? He, goes, yeah, he, goes, he goes, you have big hands. I think I might have given you change before. <laughs> Dude, he goes, you have big hands. And then he stops and goes, uh, I shook hands with Mike Tyson once. And I'm like, this is a weird segue was it, to the, tell me your cooler the story. The by the sheets? Yeah. Is that the one? <laughs> if, if, then again, if you shook hands with Mike Tyson, you would not stop telling people you shook hands with Mike Tyson. I shook Tyson. Mike It's like Tyson every time he did. shakes a large hand, he goes, Mike Tyson story time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got something to say about this. Did you just try to compare your hands to Mike Tyson? I would say they would rather. They're probably the same size. They might be a little knuckler. Oh what? my! Yours? I have giant hands. Knuckler? Knucklier? You have fat sausage fingers. That's not Mike Tyson. This hands. is no sausage you want to taste of, son. No, I don't because they probably have Dorito dust on them. Okay. <laughs> you are heavy. I mean, that would probably be it. Anyways, sausage, welcome to the actually. Morning Woods podcast. How much do you? Oh, we right, are yeah. not Johnny Woods. We could be. Um. Johnny, uh, Johnny was supposed to be here. We got here early, and uh, yeah, dude, his car is out back. I don't know where he's at. He, I think he's probably grabbing, he's probably grabbing something or something. Yeah, he's he just stepped grabbing. on my uh, headphone. I'm, there we go. I'm trying. We're new to. here. Um, yeah, we're new here. Johnny usually shows us around. <laughs> Johnny said, "If I do well enough today, wait I wait a minute." I, Johnny's I, had to have been here because how do we get in the building? I, I Who let think, us in? 
I think that <laughs> who let the dogs out? It's a question that'll the never door be was answered. just open. <laughs> it was just an open door. Right. I mean, it's worth the type of neighborhood that you don't really need to lock anything. You don't have a lot of. Oh, someone broke in before we got probably. here. Probably. Yeah. They, gotcha. they warmed it up for us. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it's Oakwood. We're yeah. in a nice part of town. Absolutely, we are. So, um, yeah, go ahead and just do that some more. Yeah, I like to make ambient noise in the background. <laughs> I forgot John is John is a fidgety man. I I like to fiddle. Can we talk? I, I don't mean. I don't mean the instrument. I'll talk about uh, my complaints with all uh, all of you right now. We can just vent out our problems this whole podcast. I wish want. you wouldn't. <laughs> I can if you want. I can't take it. I am a very <laughs> sensitive boy. That's fine. We'll go ahead and okay. I'll I'll go first. Somebody say what if you could change one thing about Stop me. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> It, that was his bones popping, by yeah, the way. Yeah, <laughs> That's just, just him cracking, adjusting in the chair. Cracking my knuckles. I'm afraid to move my chair because I heard it make a noise. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And I don't want to go down on this podcast. That noise was a cry for help. Whenever <laughs> I find Johnny, we got to get him get some fat, friendly it, chairs. It could have been my back. Tell it. You, you had Snack an incident rat. happen with your, I did. With, your, with your back. Can we talk about uh, that? Yesterday morning, I woke up at like 5.30 to go to the flea market. Okay. And uh, I brushed my teeth like every adult should. Um, as I'm brushing my teeth, I... Uh, I, uh, what did I do? I, oh, I, uh, sneezed. <laughs> That's all it takes. No, that was this morning. Yesterday is, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's restart this because my brain is, uh, full of breakfast. And yesterday I gagged while brushing my teeth <laughs> and I threw my back out. <laughs> as first soon all, as it went out, I went, <laughs> first off, good to know you brush your teeth. Yes. Well, first of all, I've never gagged brushing my teeth. I mean, I can fucking take a toothbrush. Okay. <laughs> <I've> <laughs> Let me tell it. you right now, gentlemen. I've seen it. It's pretty hot. Yeah, dude. I was like, I'm getting all the way. Like, they say brush your tongue and brush the back of your <laughs> That's throat. That's the problem. Brush I, brush, I brush the back of my tongue. <laughs> yeah. And whenever I get anywhere near the back of my throat, I instantly, I, I want to puke. Why? I would be a horrible gay guy. No. Just, be, just on the sense that you don't dress well and you're dirty? I think I would, I think I would <laughs> gag on a micro penis. Well, let's find out. John? I'm here. <laughs> it's already out. Yeah. It's been out it's for been, weeks. He's like, it's been in your mouth the whole time. <laughs> You've been talking perfectly fine. No, and this morning I sneezed in bed and uh, my back went out again. So, I mean, you're not, you're not old. I'm, oh. I'll be 41 in July. Okay, he's old. Yeah, yeah he's sorry. Old. Oh, sorry. sorry, dude. I'm the oldest man in this room. Uh, 41, I'm not going to say is old. No, but I'm, I'm halfway to dead. Yeah, yeah. More than half. I mean, I'm hoping more than half. I'm hoping we got a couple good weeks in, yeah, yeah and then we, we're out. I'm hoping you make it to Sandman's. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Um, do you think, do you notice more things that are just going out on you? Because here's the thing. You keep claiming that you want to exercise and you want to change your diet, and yet you never do. Yeah. That's one of the things that goes away. What do you think goes away? Is your, uh, is your, your, uh, want. your drive yeah. to want to lose weight. You're like, you know what? I don't have much longer. Might as well eat what I want. Yeah, I agree with that. That's <laughs> also the sound effect we're going to play when we announce your death. That's, on the what happen- <laughs> That's what happens when me and John leave a buffet. <laughs> They're like, finally, we can rest. No, they don't, they don't have a, a button on here where it's just people sobbing. <laughs> there was so much blood. No, getting older. Getting we're older. going bankrupt. <laughs> getting older definitely sucks. I mean, of course, no one loves getting older. I kind of like it. Although, I mean, I did, like, my job from the age of 15 to the age of, like, 27 was very physically demanding, and that's a part of my problem. What was it? You have to stand up and walk? Yes. <laughs> no, I used to climb telephone poles, crawl under houses, crawl through attics, it's carry... Not, it's not really that physically Like, 100-pound reels of, of wire. <laughs> professionally stole cable. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I used to uh, hook people up with illegal cable. Hey, Tell that story right now. And Which name, one? Name names. Name names. Yeah. You, how do you hook people up with a legal name cable? Name their names. Here's the best one. Here's numbers. the best one that just popped in my mind. Okay. One day, me and my friend were at a house, and the next door neighbor came out and was like, hey, uh, it was a woman. She goes, hey. Uh, Very deep voice. How, but how much to hook up my cable? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> no, she was like, how much, how much to, you know? And she, she wouldn't say it. Wait a minute. Don't say she's like, how much to, yeah, you. Because immediately my brain's going to like, how much for me to suck your dick? Okay, we're going to get there. She goes. <laughs> she goes Us or her? <laughs> oh. She's like, how much to. Uh, like, this is like a threat. Yeah. To, to hook me up. And I was like, and I'll, here's the deal. I looked up at the telephone pole and it was already connected. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, this is an easy one. So I was like, well, how much are you going to give me? She goes, well, come in the house for a second. Cool. So I go in her living they room. beat the shit out no. of them. Yeah. I go there was in her... eight other burly bitches in there. <laughs> Hold on. Let me finish this story. No. I go in her living sucks. room. We're making it better. I'm standing there in the living room, and she's <laughs> eating cheddar peanut butter crackers, like the little cracker things. That's not a sexy she's, food. She's eating them, and like the crumbs are in her mouth. <laughs> and she's like, so 
Do you, oh, you got a girlfriend? Yeah, I was like, I'm married. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. She's like, oh, and as chewing crackers, she's like, oh, do you, uh, do you cheat? And I'm like, no, I don't. She yeah, goes, are yeah, you, all the time. You cheat on your diet. <laughs> yeah. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure. She goes, well, then how much to hook me up? I went, 50 bucks. So her boyfriend comes out of the bedroom. He goes, you say 50? I'm like, what would have happened <laughs> if I was like, yeah, you can blow me for free cable? Like, what would have happened then? Yeah. It would have So she gives me 50 bucks. I go outside, and I keep working on the neighbor. And she goes, are you going to hook me up? I went, you're already on. Mm. She goes, what? She goes, that ain't fair. I went, it's totally fair. I was like, you're stupid. Yeah, well, it's at least you didn't take the blow job and then be like, it was. I took the money. Yeah, that would have been that would have been raped then. (laughs) Very next day, we can turn over audit reports where the auditors come out and disconnect illegal accounts. Did you do it? I had her shut off the next day (laughs) because I'm hilarious. Why? (laughs) And then you drum up business for the next guy. Yeah, I kept driving by like every day. Like, do you need to hook back up? Need to hook back up. This time he wants the blowjob. Get them crackers out your mouth, and we got we can talk. Get them crackers out your mouth and put this cracker in your mouth. <laughs> she was white, just an old heroin head. Huh? Right. Old H H head. Old H head. Was the fact that you were married the only thing stopping you from getting that blowjob? No, no, it was the cr- cr- crackers in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, that would have hurt. He was oh, like, yeah. I, I wanted to cut cra- you up. I wanted the bl- blowjob. I, want, I wanted the crackers. It's like getting a blowjob with eighty grit. It's like I don't want that. I'm allergic to peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, then what happened? No, I'm not gonna say it. No, go ahead. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It, what happens when you pee on your nuts? Okay. <laughs> See, I told you I should. Yeah. I, I told you. Yep. You know what? At first, do you have a lot of? I days? wish Johnny were here. We could get. It. Now, speak. I know you said you've had like because you've told me you've repaired cable before. I mean, have you had? Like, you don't repair cable. Cable gets cables on or it's on. Cable repairs you. Guys, I'm 22 years old. I'm not 100% sure what cable even is. <laughs> okay. This, Let's move past. This, what? It's RG6 coaxial cable. Oh, my You're God, learning. dude. Literally, learning. I'm just every pussy in Dayton dried up as soon as you said oh, that. Oh, no. I'm getting phone calls like, yo, come hook me up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm eating crackers right now. Where I'm you at, bitch? Crackers, <laughs> dude, I used to also do this. I used to add extra digital boxes to my company account. And I would give them to my friends in order to watch TV for free. What's crazy is I don't have friends that I like that much that I risk my job for. I, it's I not, don't care about getting fired. Well, yeah, and it's not really risking your job. What is it's it? like if I gave you a free piece of cake at Wiley's. It's like I'm not really risking my job. They don't really care that much. I might get a stern talking to. Yeah. I put I put the, the digital box in the Funny Bone condo. It was on my account. And I had to put a passcode on it because people kept trying to order porn. Uh, of course. Yeah. So Playboy. I would go in there. We had the yeah. Playboy Channel free, Channel 544. This is back before you get porn on your phone. Yeah. I would go in the condo, uh, like that Wednesday or Thursday, put it on 544 and turn the surround sound all the way up. So when they turned on the TV, it would just be whatever porn was currently playing, playing like full decibel. Bridget the midget. Very funny, first of all. Because I like the idea of a very clean comic coming into the comedy condo the next time. Ryan Regan. Yeah. <laughs> well, these, no, these, these were feature acts. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, back then, you know, you got some comics who are famous now who would have been feature acts back in the day. So you would have had a... Yeah, like Jerry Seinfeld. A very, yeah. I mean, he early 2000s. He's really old. Andy yeah. Smith. Augie Smith? No, Andy. Oh. I don't know who that is. Kyle looks like you knew her name. No, I didn't. Her? Oh. Yeah. It's, oh. it's a woman. Andy, I'm sorry. Where's Johnny? <laughs> That's yours. What the hell am I doing? Did Dude. you ever time where somebody tried to, uh, anytime somebody has ever, because like the story that you told me in the sense of like the boyfriend came out of the closet and everything like that. Yes. Not, you've, <laughs> so wait, like, wait, yeah, who was going to blow you? No, 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 no. This is a what, different oh, story. This is a different was, story. What it was the boyfriend was like, all right, come on. Yeah, man. I failed it for 50. Don't get that cracking mouth, bitch. I got you. <laughs> I'm way better than He's like, I've just been eating peanut butter. No crack. about the guy in the closet with a knife? <laughs> no, I don't know this story. Yeah, what? I'm coming in the class here. Bro, being a cable guy has some crazy stuff. Okay. I don't think it is. I think you make up all these stories, honestly. Never, I think. Never made up one story in my I life. I think he has like. Some underground Korean television show about a cable guy. <laughs> He's yeah. just been what would that show sound like, Travis? Stealing episodes. <laughs> no, never mind. I don't want to hear what the show's going to sound like. I almost did it. I know. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, there's a guy in the closet with a knife. I feel like you can't just bring up that story and then not talk about it. I mean, if you want to hear it, here we go. Um, here we go. What if I backed that? What if I was like, nah, never mind. This isn't my story. This is a friend's story that was told to Well, me. then fuck off, dude. Yeah, we don't want to hear it if it's not first around. person. All right. 
Let me hear. Anyway, that. you guys like that? Oh, it's sunny out today. Very sunny. Very sunny out. Uh, we're gonna go <laughs> random a transition we're into gonna weather. Uh, we'll Kyle take... in the news helicopter <laughs> six. <laughs> we will hear the story, but I'm a little mad because you did kind of. I never told it his mind. You, you I think, I think us... that's all of his stories. All of his stories are someone else's. That sure, he no. He's told some of my stories before. For sure, and he was like, "It was me." Yeah, he's like, "Anyway, the other day was at Panera. That's most of my stories." Um, <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> Knife in the closet. There's a there's a knife in the closet. Hey, you. I'm just gonna um <laughs> people are like did it freeze? I'll hold it way longer. <laughs> people no. are like did it freeze? Damn like, no. They're just fucking around. Um <laughs> sound guy's laughing. Just get uh, a, just get a bu- like a buffering logo pendant. <laughs> no, you just green screen one up like this right here. We're all like Anyway. Um <laughs> Ryan, his name's Ryan. He goes in the apartment. Harold? Um, it's in a very bad part of Richmond, Virginia. I'll take you there when we go to Sandman. Called Richmond, Richmond Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Me and this guy. Comedy right. 101. Richmond is just a larger Dayton. Yeah. Um, anyways, he goes in there. The lady is walking him through the apartment, telling him where she wants everything. And all these apartments, the cable comes into the front closet apartment, in the apartment, the front closet. So we always open it up to check signal before we do anything. He opens it up. There's a man in the closet. <laughs> holding a knife to his chest, and he goes, shh. Mm -hmm. Ryan is smart enough to go, yeah, I got you. Closes the door, (laughs) walks back to the back bed, and goes, hey, ma'am, I'm going to my van, but there's a dude in your living room closet (laughs) with a knife. Mm -hmm. And she goes, who the fuck in my closet? And then runs out, and this dude chases Ryan all the way to his fucking van. They call the cops. woman, then? I don't know who she was. (laughs) I want to say it was probably a LaQuisha. Oh. So. Or Sarah. Um, no. <laughs> it is very funny that he was trying to do a good deed by like warning her yeah. uh, that there's a man in the closet, and then she blew his cover, and then he almost got you killed. You know what I would have done? I would have just left. I believe yeah. you. Yeah. I'd be like, Shh, yeah, no problem, bro. What you do? Steal your money? I'm out. Was this like middle of the day? Yeah, like fucking mm. one one p.m. You don't hide well, in the closet in the middle of the day. That's yes, a night no, activity. No, that's the hey, time to do it, bro. Is it? Yeah. We had a technician call the cops. A hundred percent true. Crawling through an attic, put his hand on a blanket to keep crawling. It was a dude's chest. He goes, Hua! her ex-husband was living in the fucking attic. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, and the I reason have... the cable went out, because he cut into it in the attic so he could watch TV up in the fucking attic. Nice. It was his problem. It went out. It wasn't the marriage that he missed. It was the cable. <laughs> Bro, but who the fuck sleeps she in She took an... my dog. <laughs> How scared... She took my ESPN. <laughs> How scared are you when you're crawling through an attic like, Doing your job and your hand goes on some dude's Ugh. chest. Yeah. I would have made a noise that would just have been so feminine. Let me tell you. When he, when he said it happened, the, uh, the guy. Oh no! <laughs> he just comes. Uh. <laughs> oh, ouchie! There's a body here. <laughs> just a noise that doesn't match the situation. Yeah. The guy grunted and then instantly was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool." Like he didn't want to get like found out. <laughs> It's cool. She knows I sleep in the annex with the lights off, no, but no, keep no, your voice no. down. It's cool. She doesn't know I'm here. Dude, dude and from what I remember. <laughs> I'm this... one of the guys. We do this. You know, I just live in an attic without her knowing about it. <laughs> you never slept in someone's attic? You never did this? Take your shoes off. They make too much noise. <laughs> I don't care about night. It's just too loud. But imagine being downstairs at nighttime when you're sleeping. You just hear someone farting in your attic. You're like... What, what kind of animal is that? I usually think it's just me. That <laughs> raccoon sounds like my ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like him, too. Hey, while you're down there, how's my wife looking? Is she looking supple? <laughs> is she still ugly? Because that's why I left. <laughs> why does it sound like she's banging nine different guys every night? There's <laughs> only this- six. <laughs> Come over here. Look in this hole. It's her bed. Oh, that would be creepy. Yeah, just watching her. He just like moves some of the, the insulation to the side. Did my wife move out? Because I'm hearing the lady orgasm every night. And my wife never did never that. Never did that. <laughs> she told me she couldn't. It can't be her. First of all, why is why is a gangster living in an attic? It's a funny voice to yeah, do. Yeah, it's just a fun voice to, to hi, just go. Hi, I'm hiding in her attic. Don't let her know. I'm here. That's not fun. That's yeah. creepier. If anything. Cool. <laughs> yeah. King of the hills have eyes. Yeah. <laughs> He's sleeping on hay. Dude, He's sleeping a... on wet hay. That'd be a funny cartoon. <laughs> Anywho, I could tell Comcast stories all day, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, because where's they're... Johnny? They're all fake. Do you want to tell us what Comcast is for the kids listening? It is Spectrum. Comcast. It is Warner 
TV. How about it's, watch it's your Comcast. local cable company. <laughs> you ever see that Mike Tyson video? He's like, Comcast. Comcast. <laughs> Clockcast. <laughs> You like just can't get the words. Just watch the fucking fight, guys. Yeah, I, I, I have dicks on my brain. I it's don't on, know. It's on pay per view. Peep, That's funny. Peep. Can we show a clip? It's on all kinds of people. Okay, thank you. Um, Good clip. I hit. Clip. I hit all the wrong things. Um, <sighs> is, is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be crickets? Because I'm going to tell you what it sounds like to me. It what? sounds like an old grocery cart where um, one of the wheels is kind I, of. I was thinking a Vietnam veteran's wheelchair that is rusted. Mm. Or this might. Okay. Come on, Grandpa. We got to go watch these two people get gay married. I need more mustache. I want this at all. <laughs> yeah. By the way. Like um, he rusted the wheels himself <laughs> so it wouldn't go. These, what? How'd you get so strong? The country's changing, Grandpa. Don't this is a beautiful thing. Come don't on. Don't move. <laughs> You're picking me up. All right. So what, what else is going on, guys? What, what is going on? That, that's definitely the thing you want to say in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, what well, else is going on? What else is going? Let's because I don't like this riff. I don't like this riff. Okay, <laughs> yeah. just because we're talking about your dad. <laughs> Leave my dad out of this. John woke up one night at my dad's house and uh, <laughs> fucking basically watched my dad piss into a piss jar. I didn't watch him. I put my hoodie over my head and I went back to sleep. But he was pissing, <laughs> dude. What? <laughs> I okay. can't wait to take you to see my dad. I, I, here's the thing is, I've, I've, we've known each other for a while, and I've never met your parents, and I'm really sad about it. Here's like, the thing. Oh, you're going to in Richmond. Like, okay. you know when you pour, like, you try to pour coffee out of a coffee cup, mm -hmm. and it goes down the side, and it comes out, it winds up dripping down the bottom? Yeah. That's how he peed. <laughs> Except for, he just held the bottle to his knee. Yeah. And he was like, it, it'll get there. I thought you were going to say the beginning of a Keurig. You know, like, when the Keurig first starts? I'm not rich. Okay? You guys know what a Keurig is? I don't is? even know what that is. That a By new way, type of coffee? They have never been a Holiday Inn? They got Keurigs. My dad must definitely be a shower because, like, he just pulls his shorts to the side and puts his dick in the bottle and starts pissing. I couldn't do that ever. I'd have, like, have to get aroused. No, you could. To do that. You just wouldn't make it in the bottle. Yeah, I would just piss all over myself. <laughs> Should you be allowed to arrest someone for being a sex offender if. If they have a big dick? <laughs> uh oh lock me up here we go uh oh too big you say officer well destroyed then, that child well then i guess i'm a sex offender i had clip to that up and use that as promo for the show he's one of those fucking guys who say they have their hands registered it's like i got my dick registered as a fucking lethal weapon i got my dick registered as my last if i whip it out it's attempted murder i was gonna say the people who like grown men Grown men who hold on. Their... What about ungrown men? <laughs> That's like, what's the... <laughs> yeah, those childish. It's men. like those uh, public restaurants you ate at earlier. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I did use the term public restaurants earlier. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, but no. You ever seen somebody who still kind of pulls their pants down too far when they're at a urinal? Um, um, I don't go to Chuck E. Cheese that often. No, it's what's not too children? far. What is, what's too far? If I can see any of your ass, dude. My Wait pants. My pants are at my ankles. Go ahead. Every time I pee at a urinal. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Um, you guys don't drop trout at a urinal? No. What? No. What? I'm not even. You're not. You're. Are you messing with me right now? Yes. Okay. Thank God. Because <laughs> you I guys was, go between your legs I, to no. wipe too. <laughs> I can't even reach my. Or do you guys stand up? Oh, Who's, let's talk about this. Hold on. We're, we're talking about fucking dropping your pants to piss. Okay. Sorry. I just pull my zipper down and pull my underwear down and go. Okay. Uh, do you guys pull don't, your underwear I'll leave down? My, you don't use the pocket. No, pocket. I'm fat, so I can't reach everything properly. <laughs> One time I had the elastic Can't pulled, reach my dick. The elastic pulled down and I let go of it and it hit my dick up in the air and I, and I pissed on my own stomach. <laughs> <laughs> at a urinal? No, in my own house. I was going to say, it was like at Chuck E. Cheese or something. He goes back out like, Dad stinks. I'm just fighting it. I'm just kicking it to stop. <laughs> you ever anyone say anything weird to you at a urinal? Yeah, you. Yeah, dude, I'll, I'll talk at a urinal. It's I'm not weird it. how much you like talking with your dick in your hand. Yeah, I, I had some, uh, I had some uh, big black guy one day go, <laughs> Cute. No, he didn't. I know. I just made it. Up. Okay. <laughs> um, I was gonna say that would be the highest compliment ever. Like, give somebody said that to me. Um, I'll I take have, a cute. cute I have dick. been in a couple of public bathrooms. Hey, where cute they've been, dick, bro. <laughs> where they have been, Thank uh, you. I appreciate that. Hey, it's like you got a cute little dick there, bro. <laughs> I have been in a couple of public restrooms where guys have been there soliciting sex. Ooh. Really? Yes. Is that how you and John met? Yep. Yeah. 
He solicited when you, me. When you say soliciting sex, how do they, uh, are they subtle about it? No. There was a, okay, there's a mall. Hey, bro, you want me to suck your dick for money? There's a mall yeah. in Richmond called uh, Willow Lawn. <laughs> And there was always stories about old men that would go to the bathroom to fuck. We'd go there sometimes for work and eat lunch in the, in the food court. So we were there one day. And I went to the bathroom to piss, and this old man came out the last, very last stall, walked out, mm-hmm. backed up to the wall, and just stared at me and goes, <clears throat> and I went, Haha, and just like went to the urinal and peed. <laughs> and then when I, I when I back face? away to wash my hands, he's still standing there, and he goes, <clears throat> and then walks back into the stall. And I'm just going, <laughs> just laughing. Like, mm-hmm. this old man wants to suck my dick. What well, if he thought you were a janitor and wanted you to unclog his fucking toilet? What if he just had a cough? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he standing there like... You also think strippers like you, don't you? Travis, during COVID, was like, everyone wants to suck my dick. <laughs> This is crazy. Right here in the middle of Kroger's? <laughs> Goddamn. Not you too, right. Grandma. Oh, boy. Yeah, Grandma wanted to suck my dick a lot before she passed. <laughs> oh, that's a fun bit. All right, Miss How'd Grandma. she die? She came down with a hard case and wanted to suck my dick. <laughs> Shame killed her. Shane? Shame. Uh. Oh, I thought just a guy named Shane. Yeah, Shane Gillis <laughs> killed my grandma. Oh, my God. You can't put that out there, dude. That's... <laughs> He's got enough heat. Um, Shane Gillis <laughs> killed my grandma after he got kicked off SNL. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Uh, he just ate more like pussy. Saturday night. Not alive. Uh, Best in the biz, John I, Boyce. Yep. Man, I wish. <laughs> guys, it goes on too long. Calm down, guys. Calm down. Calm down. You you make me wish Johnny was here. Oh wait, I can fade it out. <laughs> can you fade it up? <laughs> it gets aggressive. It gets mean. (laughs) All right. That's that's the worst. Bro, that's what it sounds like at all my shows. That no, it's because here's the thing. That's it gets angry. It sounds like it turns into a riot, dude. It's like someone told it's when you tell a cute racist joke and then it becomes a rally real quick. That's what that was. You know those cute racist jokes? Rallies where you can get a burger. Ooh, yeah. There's nothing better than a rally. Yeah. For real? You guys wanna go to a I don't do a rally. Checkers. Well, great front. Checkers is good. It's the same restaurant. It's the same thing. Bullets. Do you ever have a Bullets? I would love one in my mouth <laughs> on all times, but no. No, there was a restaurant just like Checkers. It was called Bullets. Come on down and eat a bullet. <laughs> don't be a pussy. Put are a you, gun in your mouth. Are you feeling sad? Come on out to Bullets and put a bullet in your mouth. <laughs> are you living in your wife's attic I'm... trying to steal cable? <laughs> Come eat a bullet. Dude. <laughs> Sam, like that voice is just like a Sam Elliott voice to me for everything. Like his Smelly voice it? on anything just makes it better. I call him Smelly It. I I get why uh, old women like. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> is I, it your time of the month? Yeah, a hundred percent. As an old woman going through menopause, Sam Elliott does. Is it your me. vagina making cheese? <laughs> get honest at seven. Making cheese. <laughs> uh, what? What? It's not just old women. It's all women. Love just it. all straight women. Love hey, Sam Elliott. Love voice. Sam Elliott's voice. Do you think it's a... That's what people like my voice. Bro, if he fucking narrated a cookbook, man. every woman would know how to cook. <laughs> yes. How do you narrate why, a cookbook? Why, yeah, why cook? Step one. Who's yourself. listening to an audio Step book of one. cooking? Bro, women, You're dude. need a couple of eggs. Horny women who love Once Sam Elliott's voice. you eggs in a bowl, you're going to take that bowl and you're going to whisk it. Yeah. If you whisk it just right, yeah. it'll come. <laughs> Honey, are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> oh my she god, I'm gonna fucking make brownies. Just <laughs> furiously going. All these, hus- dude, all these husbands are going to work every day going, I don't know who's gotten into my wife, man. She's been so, cooking up a storm. I am so full. And her, pa- her panties are always wet. It's weird. <laughs> She's been cooking and does not want to fuck for the life of her. Let me tell you. <laughs> she comes harder making pancakes than when I fuck her. What is that? <laughs> that sounds like a like a very blue collar comedy tour bit. <laughs> if your wife's coming more making pancakes than when you fuck her, she might be listening to a Sam Elliott cookbook. <laughs> I'll listen to one of them Sam Elliott songs, not songs, <laughs> songs. <laughs> <laughs> one of them Sam Elliott fucking uh, recipes myself, and I couldn't help but jizzleate the goddamn fry pan. Go I said jizzleate. Did you hear that? Stick your fingers into the batter to make sure there's no clumps in it. Take your fingers out and put them in your mouth. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Did you make a mess? I, <laughs> Don't worry. I'll clean it up. 
I'll even take out the garbage. He just starts saying things that we want to hear. I'll take out the garbage. <laughs> Don't worry. Being asked. I'll take the kids to soccer practice. Your voice can't get deep enough it to really do can. it. really can't. He's like, you got a little bit of crumbs on your kitchen floor. Use my mustache and I'll get it up. This for is you. my Sam Elliott. I'm probably- <laughs> I'll use the old push broom to broom it up. I bet he can make a twitch back and forth like a fucking like like a magic trick. With his mustache? I think that's <laughs> dick. I was like, whoa, dude, I wouldn't want I that. I think we all could do that. When he comes, his dick goes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> his dick has a mustache. <laughs> He shaves his pubes to just have a mustache on the top of his You dick. can buy him on his website. Dude. Just Sam Elliott Merkins. You can fucking get one. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a clip, Jamie. That's a clip. <laughs> Do you think the people, in the, speaking of like cowboys in the Old West and everything, I don't, I mean, here's the thing. A big thing was in the Old West, there was also a lot of prostitutes. Yeah. I feel like. On either end, neither of them could have smelled great. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, that's got to be the dirtiest smelling. Because here's the thing. But here's the thing. Does it does it smell if you've been around it your whole life? Because that's their yes. whole life. Yes. I still think so. It's their whole life. They don't know that it smells. Because does the, when you're going in from the outside, so then we're still walking into the inside. The outside's not going to smell that bad all the time. You got fresh air. <sighs> no, outside, not as bad. Ugh. Not as bad. All those towns just smell like fucking horse shit. Right. I don't know. If so what? they go into the brothel and they're like, ah, "Pussy!" Like, but here, that's fucking like. <laughs> in a lot of movies bullshit. you see, like the bar is downstairs where they're all drinking, and then like a lady comes down and she's like, "I'm upstairs. If you got two shillings, I'll suck your cock off." Maybe they had. I like, don't know what currency they used. Maybe they had like some sort of like vodka douche or something like that. Vodka douche. No, to no, clean it up. They used to douche with vinegar. Hey, yeah, they, that would make it smell worse. It's like a fucking Caesar salad when you go. Haven't down you there. been with a couple of women who smelled like they douched with vinegar? A little tart. No, I think I've been with a couple who who douched with their own shit like that. <laughs> oh my Jesus god! Question. You should stop talking to those women. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat this? Jesus. No, I'm gay. I'm gay. Yeah, yeah that'll make a man. I'm turn. gay now. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna read Sam Elliott Ooh, books. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go just listen to Sam Elliott jerk off in the car right home. <laughs> Have you ever tried to go down on a woman? And her pussy smells smells like like a pit bull's asshole. (laughs) Sam Elliott can say the most disgusting thing. You're like, yeah. (laughs) My my name's Sam Elliott. I was sucking a dog's dick the other day. Oh, it's so hot, Sam. (laughs) Sam, stop. A little red rocket shot off in my mustache. (laughs) That's where the grade comes from. (laughs) She's actually 27. My, Dude, you know my what it is? Asshole is built for tough. <laughs> Back in the Western days, if you didn't have a deep voice, you weren't intimidating. Like if, if someone like him, like with a voice like that, was like, I'm gonna meet you at high noon. That's scary. Yeah. If someone's like, I'm gonna meet you at high noon. No, you're not. You're cute. Yes, <laughs> you're a cute little cowboy. <laughs> like Well, I, isn't that what happened with Billy the Kid? Like nobody took Billy the Kid seriously because he, he was young and he had a high he went like didn't yeah, have puberty yet. He was, Excuse a kid. Me, but he was like literally just like Pow, he would blow your brains out with What was he like? <laughs> Gotcha. That's what it sounded like. Donald Duck guns. He did he he did not have a gun, by the way. He was just gonna make them like whose kid is that, dude? (laughs) (laughs) He rode the short horse. Um, (laughs) All righty, everybody. (laughs) But uh what do you think? Could I survive in the old west? If you were in the old west, what would you be? Yeah, yeah. You put a wig on and work at a brothel? Yeah, for sure. Dude, here's the thing. If I have to suck a dick to survive in the old west, I'm doing it and I'll be mayor by no, Tuesday. I think I've, in the old west you would be like the guy who builds caskets. Or like a, I wouldn't build them well. You'd be a good like bartender. You think so? Yeah. I think I'd be a good bartender now. I think I'd be a fun guy to talk to. Yeah, but you don't know how to pour drinks. I don't, but I could fake it. And if so, a customer bought you a shot, you'd be done for the night. <laughs> oh, well, one shot for me. Just uh, hold on. <laughs> back, back in western times, I mean, it was either a fucking hot Shot or a fucking hot beer. You yeah. didn't. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, nothing was called. Who was the first guy to order a really fruity cocktail? <laughs> like in the, uh, that's it was Sam movie. Elliott. He was like, can I get a Shirley? Can, I go, can you go ahead and take a little bit of that juice and put it in with the whiskey? What? You want what? You got any umbrellas? No, wait, wait, umbre- no, we don't have umbrella. What? No. You got any fruit? Do you know origami? <laughs> no one has fruit. No, this isn't Europe. No, we don't have no, fruit. There's no fruit in the country. Like, what I don't you- know what you... We have vegetables. Yeah. Yeah, because he got his leg want, shut off. Do you want some barley in it? I don't know what you want. I've got an old tumbleweed. Is that what you want? 
I can use the vinegar douche. That's I, about it. I got a dandelion. Yeah. <laughs> this tastes so good, I want to spit in your mouth. <laughs> okay, sir, I, I appreciate your business, but you're going to have to leave. Open you up your goddamn mouth. <laughs> I'm going to spit in it. Give okay. Me, give me one pipe and warm beer. I'm going to spit in your mouth because it looks like a little butthole to me. Get over Just here. Just drinking warm beer sounds so terrible. Oh, but my dude, gosh. And they were That's all the drunk. Old West was. Right. No yeah, wonder, you know what? No they, wonder have, they were killing each other. They didn't other. have ice. <laughs> of course not. Dude, when winter came, cold beer, they are probably like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Yeah. Well, my son died, but at least I get a cold beer to th- forget about but it. But in the winter, you don't even want a cold beer at that point, do you? No, probably not. That's when you want a hot beer. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go inside warm Can up with a hot up? beer. Can you warm that beer up? Dude, it, could, it couldn't have been good. Like, beer now is not good. It is. Imagine original beer. It's good if you... I bet you I bet you that's one thing that has not progressed and has tasted the same yeah, since the beginning I, of time. I, I, I don't know. It's probably about the same. Yeah. I'm going to say Viking beer was like just dirt water. They called it beer. Viking didn't have beer. They had wine and like mead. Mead is like a beer, isn't it? No, mead is like a, a stronger wine. I like how Vikings are the most vicious people. Like, they just raped and pillaged and attacked them. Like, just wine for me, thanks. Just wine. <laughs> Pinky out. Yeah, oh, oh. Pinky out before we pillage. Oh, beer? We're not monsters. We'll it's have good, some wine. It's got some good legs on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just sommeliers. <laughs> this pairs well with a nice sheep dick. <laughs> they're Jesse sommeliers. <laughs> what, okay. if, what if they never there pillaged? There it is. They never oh. pillaged anywhere. They just told stories of pillaging. Gun to yeah. my head, I couldn't define pillaging. I've used the word only with Vikings. I think it's robbing. That's what I you context know, clues like, gave me that. It's like when you don't have anything of value, but you still take it. <laughs> I've, here's yeah, a, I guess I'll take your hat. <laughs> I've never heard the term pillaging outside of Vikings. No one's ever been like, hey, man, uh, yeah, my house got broken. And somebody came in and fucking pillaged my house the other day. It was crazy. <laughs> Never see that on the news. There's never a pillaging. Officer, never... I've been pillaged. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. What is this guy? We got real things to deal with. <laughs> never heard the old saying that it takes a pillage. <laughs> okay. Takes a pillage to raise a child. <laughs> you look like you had an aunt who died from too much pillage. <laughs> Guys, you know what? No, where's fuck's jo- where's Johnny? <laughs> I see what you said there. Thank you so much. Guys, where's Johnny? Uh, I think he said he was coming. Should, uh, yeah, he, he's, <laughs> he's somewhere coming right yeah. now. I mean, look, I'll, I'll, I feel like you ask about Johnny so much. Why can't we just like be here and you have a podcast? Yeah, because this is Johnny's moment. podcast. We just this is our we yeah, I mean, podcast. We kind of it's yeah, ours it's, now. It's kind we of, can do it on I'd, our own. I'd say it's better. I mean, let's ask the uh, let's ask the audience. I mean, uh, what do you think, America? Comment right now if you think this is better than Johnny Pods. Johnny Pods. <laughs> that sounds like something who bullies Johnny would call on the streets. Hey, Johnny Pods. Johnny Yo, Pods. Johnny Pods. That episode last Tuesday was fucking wack, dog. They also call him Johnny Pods because he sells jewel pods to junior high <laughs> <laughs> And he sells those uh, additional storage units to yeah. people. The mobile storage units. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep pods. <laughs> Every kind of pod there is. No, but, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like as far as Johnny goes, I mean, I think... Uh, I don't know. I mean, he's a good guy, but I mean, I feel like uh, if you guys are okay without it, I mean, then we're fine. Yeah, I mean, it's shit, dude. I mean... I- Pretty much did the podcast without him anyways. Yeah, one of the best ones he did so far. I would say it was the funniest one by far. I had fun. <laughs> uh, we learned what pillaging was, and uh, I appreciate it. So. And we got a little Sam Elliott in there, too. Ain't nothing better than a nice pillage first thing in the morning. <laughs> Women are going to be just chasing us around now yeah. after what they if, hear these voices. Ladies. This you is know, not a comedy podcast. It's not like a listen, s- erotic ladies. podcast. I'll yeah. whisper in your ears. I'm choking you. <laughs> I'm so fat. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad if you guys get like a a, a like deal, a like a yeah. podcast deal, to only do this Books voice on tape. Yeah, they're like, "Hey, we love the episode. We'd love to have you guys do a series." I'm like, "Wow, thanks." Like, no, not you. You not little... <laughs> you, Queen. <laughs> ladies, you look at me right now, my eyes, ladies. Look at me. Follow me on Instagram <laughs> at Travis Charles. I post vintage t-shirts and other dumb shit. <laughs> you will never hear my voice on my Instagram, yeah. but you should follow me. John, you have a you have a better knack for doing it without having to like get into it. Like you just He smokes a lot. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. I'm start. a man. That's what that is. I'm a real man. Well, Sam Elliott's on like uh one million and three cigars in his life, so like real that's man. why. Just cig- <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for breakfast? Breakfast. What do you want breakfast? for breakfast there, Sam? Uh, cigar and whiskey. I like my eggs fertilized. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the fertilizing egg or chicken. All right, boys, I gotta go. Needs um, to fuck another chicken. You ain't leaving. I don't know, man. Uh, if you guys see Johnny, tell him I said, hey. <laughs> I don't know where he is. We saw his car, but fuck it. Cool. Uh, see, what's, what we get? Well, yeah, we're doing Sandman's. Uh, when? In September. September. I'm sure this will air. 
Probably like the day before. I hope it doesn't. I th- <laughs> Hopefully we find, I don't know how to post it. So that's the, that's the one it thing. It is currently May 29th, by the way. It is. Good job, dude. I'm pretty Look good with, with yeah. numbers and days and stuff. No, you're not. They all run together when you do nothing. <laughs> so it's Labor Day weekend. I'm going to be at Sam Ann's in Richmond, Virginia. Labor yeah. Day. I'll, I'll be there as well. If it, so mean, if you're pregnant, come on out. And if you like the voice of Sam Ellie, and his voice say, will yeah. deliver that baby. Come, come on, on yeah. Yeah. All right, we should probably head out. I appreciate it. I and mean, this was uh, yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Fun, yeah. Hey, yeah. thanks. Thanks for coming on. Uh, we'd love to have you again sometime. Okay. Yeah. So thank you. And uh, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to work. Okay. Yep. So, okay. Well, we yeah, appreciate some it. of us really work. Yeah. I, I work like a man. Okay. Well, appreciate it. Bye. Oh. I think I broke it, but that's cool. Okay. You know, it's not ours, so. Okay. Well, uh, uh, yeah, let's get that out of here. Bug. <laughs> All right. See you guys. We'll take it off. And we'll play us out. Get it in the next thing. Leave that quiet. <laughs>